scholars have commonly interpreted the emergence of claims of Israelite descent among African peoples as an attempt of marginalized communities to construct empowering identities by drawing on biblical narratives. The sermon presented it makes sense of such claims from a more emic perspective, not as an instrumental counter discourse, but as a genuine attempt to grapple with the nature of ethnic membership and the place of certain communities in relations to biblical genealogies, time and space. I shall attempt to explore the African identities of Moses as a Jewish Egyptian Sudanese and his role as prophet, priest and king. The attempt is to produce a holistic image of Africans and their relations with biblical personalities and narratives. The story which follows that of Joseph serves to bring hope to diasporic Africans and to the ten lost tribes of the house of Israel scattered across the continent of Africa, whose ties with Israel and to the people of God cuts across notions of history and peoplehood, which emphasizes ethnic fixity and focus on lineage, exclusive bloodline, and biological descent. It is my prayer that this new perspective on Israel's identity or Israelites' identity in Africa influence, if not change, our Western-oriented, born-again Christianity on the construction of racial and ethnic identities. In Sub-Saharan Africa, you can find Judaic tribes in Ghana, Nigeria, Mali, Uganda, Cameroon, South Africa, Zimbabwe, and even in Sao Tome and other countries. There are many, many of us. And it is undoubtedly true that there is a wave of the Spirit of the Lord gathering Hebrew Africans of the lost tribe of Israel. It is one of these special people, this special land mentioned in the Holy Scripture and to whom prophecies of the end time is mentioned by the prophet Dwight Ten. Sudan, Sudan, yes. The region of Africa, just south of Egypt, has significant ties to the Bible. From Moses' wife to the Ethiopian eunuch, from the people of Sudan, interacting with biblical characters. So please, stay tuned as I trace tenuous links between the African continent and biblical stories. The story of Moses, the African king, priest, and prophet. A narrative of which begins from discursive resistance to new genealogies, rethinking Israelite identities, in Africa through Moses. Stay tuned. Moses, the African King, an African diaspora theology of reconstruction by Lady Apostle Diana Audu, available now on Facebook slash the Diana Audu Royal Global Ministries and Missions and on YouTube slash the Diana Audu Ministries and Missions Official.